Okay, we are going to be looking at the way in which uh, heat uh, moves. And the first one that we're going to look at is something called convection. So let's have a look at this video. Um, a small squared shaped glass tube is filled with water and a small amount of purple dye. You can see that at the top. And then heat is added bottom left. And you can see straight away that the die is moving clockwise. This is a process called convection. If you, however, move the heat source, the Bunsen burner, to the right hand side, the opposite occurs. Now the die is moving anti clockwise. This is called the process of convection. And I'm going to stop the video now. Okay, particles in a gas or a liquid are free to move. So they can carry heat from one place to another. Convection is heat transfer through fluids. Fluids are liquids and gases. Why can convection not occur in a solid? Well, the particles are fixed. They are not free to move. You get to write that in right in there. The next thing that we look at is the convection tube. Here it is here. And you can see that there is heat being administered on the left hand side of the tube. And I'm just going to read through this now. Particles gain heat energy on the left hand side of the, poo uh, the tube. They tend to move further apart because they possess more kinetic energy. That means that they are less dense and rise upwards. Now you need to write the opposite on the other side of the page right here. Particles are cooler. They tend to be the same size but much closer together. Why is that? Because they possess less kinetic energy. They're cooler and so they are closer together. They are more dense and so drop and so what we get is something called a convection current and in this case the convection current will be clockwise complete the paragraph for the cooler denser water particles this side convection currents are used to heat a room what you need to do is add the answers one, two, three, and four to this diagram and read it at the same time. Okay, let's move on. The next one is called the mine shaft demonstration. Now you can see a miner is here at the uh, bottom of the shaft and he's got all his lumps of coal there i got a fire now you might think well you've got a fire that's going to use up oxygen so he's going to suffocate but in actual fact it generates convection currents so the air particles close to the fire heat up gain more kinetic energy rise because they are less dense and out they go this air the air within the mine shaft has to be replaced so you get cooler, denser air being drawn in. Cleaner, oxygen rich, denser air. So that is the mine shaft demonstration. And here we have the answer. Number one, hotter, less dense air rises and cooler denser oxygen rich air is drawn in so these convection currents are everywhere 
all fluids and these are gases or liquids will undergo convection if they are heated even very thick liquids like molten rock within the earth's mantle undergoes convection the earth's prevailing winds are also governed by convection that is how wind is set up in actual fact and you can read through and look at the diagrams here that's the mantle and these are wind trade winds being set up as a result of hot air rising and cool air falling away have a read through this paragraph here and you should start to understand that heat moves from areas where it is hot into areas where it is cold and here is our first example we've got a copper rod with drawing pins we're going to heat it up on the left hand side and it's nice and cool on the right hand side so let's see what happens as it is heated up and you can see straight away that the pins are starting to drop off on the left hand side I'm going to spin this video on a little bit they're dropping off they keep on dropping off from the left hand side but even those on the right hand side will eventually heat up the wax melts between the rod and the pin and they start to drop off so heat is definitely moving through this rod as you can quite clearly see even those pins on the right hand side are starting to drop off this is called conduction so in which order do the pins drop off the first one to drop down this is question one now the first one to drop will be Z followed by X and finally Y in which way does the heat travel the heat travels from the hot region to the cooler one why does conduction occur well within the metal bar itself you have metal particles or ions and here they're highly magnified now the ions closest to the heat source start to wobble or vibrate a tremendous amount they move around a fixed point and they crash into adjacent or next door neighbor particles which then vibrate and pass their heat energy on to the next particle and so on and so on but there's less and less vibration so eventually we are moving from a hot region to a cold region you can see the vibrations the magnitude of them the size of them decreases as you move away from the heat source that's done and the final thing is number two draw in an arrow next to the bar showing the direction of heat conduction heat conduction is in that way so we call that heat conduction